All right, here we go. We're going to the trailer repair place. It's uh, not close, and I got to go back over Squid Bridge. I mean, I'm hoping, you know, I'm getting my dad behind me. Um, I hope there's not be any, you know, racing and accidents and all that. I'm going to get my dad behind me with flashers because uh, this is one of the more scarier trailering I've ever done in my entire life is going multiples of miles here on three tires. So my dad will be here any minute and I'm going to drop it off got the jack just in case. I got my tire. I cleaned it all up for him. This hub's probably ruined. In case I have to lay on the ground for whatever reason, I brought a carpet, gloves. I mean, I'm like freaking out. I'm freaking out. So, uh, he said he thinks he can do it all in one day. I'm pacing, I'm freaking out. So, all right, I'll, we'll see about some more here later. All right, here we go. I got dad behind me with the, um, with his flashers on going, we're gonna go real slow. Well, he said the hub is really screwed, but he's going to see if he could salvage my hub because they're about 200 bucks. And I'm going to go home and I am going to call Rolls Axle Trailer and I'm going to ask them what an axle would be because that spline, he says, is really tore up. He'll hone it the best he can, but then the forward, the outside bearing, there's a damn good possibility that it's not gonna last very long. So, I don't know how much they would charge for. I don't know how long this is gonna go on. I really don't. And this right here, when it's all said and done, if I have to order another axle, um, this could cost me $1,000 easy, easy. You know, I might be a bad boy and get a biscuit. Let's see if they get some bacon, egg, and cheeses. This is how I lost weight. Dennis Mills. This is how I actually lost weight at one time here. I got rid of all fast food and sweet teas and sodas. The only thing I do now is I mix a little OJ with my seltzer water or just plain water out of the tap. So, pork chop and gravy. Oh my God. Two for five dollars. That's what I might get. Pork poop, chop and gravy. Come on. Uh, tell me, uh, what's the uh, deal on the pork chop and gravy for five dollars? Is that for breakfast? For the what now? Yes, we have two pork chop and gravy for five. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I'll get those two. All right. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm, looking out my back door. Whew. Well, this will be breakfast, lunch. And then I'll eat dinner really late. Okay, coming up is the bump that I hit, but on the other side of the road. Coming up, I'll show you. Right here. I hit this bump, watch. Right there is, I hit that bump. A guy flashed his lights and I came down right here. 
I came down right at the end of this guardrail. And then I had to kind of limp the truck down the road here, just a hair, down to these trees to get away from these damn bushes that you see right here. And the problem was, is that little tiny shoulder in the road, then I, when I called the cop, I had to get over here and had to pull over in my neighborhood or my street. So I had to go from this lane to this lane and this is how far I had to go while I was in total shock. So that bump is what really did it. I hit that bump back there. Every time you come off of come off of concrete you go on to blacktop there's this huge bump on the uh, these bridges I saw this big truck right next to me right here um, he even when his trailer hit it bounced a little bit so then I had to stop at the light here and then this is like uh, you never okay there you go I got the arrow you never get the arrow hardly ever and the traffic is just unbelievable. And then I had to go down here. And I had to turn onto my street. Which, thank God, I didn't live any further away. Because I was pissing my pants. <clears throat> so, that's the story. Now I'm going to call the Rolls Axle. And get prepared for how much it would be to get a replacement axle because of the that's the second time Randy said why is it so chewed up was it chewed up before a little bit and I told him yeah <coughs> the wheel fell off right in right over there one time as soon as I pulled up in front of the house so uh, yeah yeah that one, the wheel fell off once before on the exact same place. So, he's right. It's not going to last long. Woo! Well, one thing's for certain. I got lots of time to do it because nobody's calling. And the Dodge gets to sit underneath the boat port. She gets to sit underneath the boat port every once in a while when the boat's in the hospital. All right, so let me go and see what this shock's going to be like. All right, don't mind my squeaky-ass chair. Here's why, where I'm at right now. If, you, if you're following along. Uh, I just got a call from Randy Wilson from... Randy Wilson trailer repair. He can rebuild my stainless hub. That's a good thing. The spindle on the end, he's thinking if he gets it polished up and everything and he puts a, a bearing on it, the, the rear bearing, the inside bearing, looks like it'll probably be okay. There's a possibility that the outside bearing might have a little play in it because it gouged up the stainless steel spindle on my trailer. So, uh, he said, why don't you call Rolls Axle and talk to them about what a, a new axle would basically cost. And there ain't nothing cheap with Rolls Axle. But at the same time, it's a 16, 17 year old trailer. I don't know how many of you all have a trailer that, that gets used all the time that lasts that long. But I've done videos out of my 705, now 706. I know that doesn't matter. It doesn't mean diddly squat. But I've done, I did an entire video about my trailer and why it lasts so long. So, uh, my trailer 
and I was talking to a subscriber about this, just isn't an axle with some leaf springs. That's very antiquated. The reason I have the Rolls axle trailer is they have a proprietary patented aluminum spring type system that as the axle, and you'd have to refer back to that video, and I'll put that video in the link of this video, um, or I'll put it in the video description where I showed it. As, the, as my axle goes up and down, it pivots on like a rubber plunger, okay? And there's this mechanism that it rides on. Yes, a Rolls axle trailer will ride a little tougher, a little harder than um, a, uh, what do you call it, a torsion bar system or uh, leaf springs. But the axle can be just unbolted and bolted right on again. And the problem with that is, is that is uh, just no hubs. It's to replace the axle because that spindle could be bad. And you just can't whack off that spindle and just weld on another one. That would be, there. there's a huge amount of expense and everything right there. So as I know right now, I would have to drive down to Plant City, a good clip west of Tampa, and I'd have to purchase a new axle. So that wheel falling off twice on the same spindle, that hub falling off twice. It's happened before. It's always in that one spot, and Randy said it's going to continue to be on that spot. That uh, axle, $745. I'm going to take a big breather. To get a new trailer would cost me about 10 grand. And if I do put a brand new axle on, I probably won't buy a trailer for a long while. For $745, I might have to drive all the way down there and eventually get a new axle. So that's where I sit right now. That would be $745 would be a cash on the barrel head price. Okay. You add hubs to it, brand new stainless hubs to put everything exactly the way it came. They're $125 each, which is actually a good deal because Randy's telling me they're probably, if he had to replace that one that got all beat up, it would have been pushing 200 bucks. Yeah, I haven't spent hardly anything on that trailer. So it does pay in the long run to have a superlative quality boat trailer. Mine's a steel bar. Mine's a steel bar with a square, it's a square steel bar with a square aluminum channel, hollow channel. And they take it and they press it in with a gigantic press. And then on the end, they weld the stainless spindles. And then on top of that, they weld this old proprietary spring system. When I tell people I don't have torsion bars, I don't have leaf springs, they kind of freak out. With this guy, Dan, down at Rolled at Rolls Axle, his father invented this years and years and years ago. So you've literally got a trailer that every time you drop it in the water, you don't have to worry about anything to do with springs. But that doesn't preclude you from having to worry about bearings. And that's my issue. So that's where I'm at right now. And hopefully the next time you'll see this uh, or the next time I'll be turning the camera on is bringing it all home and being able to be on the road again. So all I can tell you is uh, do more maintenance on your bearings than I do. It's all the other things that keep you so preoccupied. You know, I've had a lot of preoccupation going on this year with that, this past summer, last year in the summer, with the fuel cooler issue and all. It's all a learning deal. And you are going to be learning from me. Well, good morning. It is the next day. And I'm going down to pick up my trailer right now. And a lot of stuff has happened in the last day. Yes, the outside bearing, uh, Randy said, will be sort of sloppy, just like it was before. Uh, it lasted a year this time 
from the last time the wheel fell off there. He said, but it could last a month, it could last a year. Either way, I reserved a trip for tomorrow with three people. So I got another uh, little bit of a reprieve now. My mortgage company, and a lot of them are doing it, and you might want to look into it if you haven't thought of it yet, but a fellow YouTube creator I was watching who's a CPA said, check with your mortgage companies because the government is literally making mortgage companies or suggesting to mortgage companies and banks that they give people a reprieve. And I'm getting a reprieve for April, May, and June on my mortgage. That's good. And then they're sending a package in the mail for even a bigger reprieve or some kind of agreement of something or whatever. So I'll get that, he said, in maybe a week or so. Still can't get on the unemployment. Believe it or not, this morning at like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, I got on the Florida uh, unemployment site. And I got all the way to the end. And you hit submit. And it went, boop, run, error, run, error. So that's almost a lost cause. But I still have my paperwork in to the Small Business Administration. I don't know, I just filled it out. I did an online, plus I print, had my dad print some stuff for me and I mailed it in. I'm just bombarding stuff with ever I can. But I hope everybody's doing good. I will maybe do a little bit on the way home or when I pull the boat back in. It's Wolf Den. So either way, I'm going to get trailer. I don't know what this damage is going to be. But I do need to probably buy another axle. I need to make this trailer last. So here we go. Just went and got 18 gallons of non-ethanol fuel. So I have it. So I'm prepared for these absolute, I mean a lot of this, everything's going to be very late notice charter calls. I'm sure of it. Here we go. Over the Lawless Bridge one more time. Well, here I go again. Going over the Lawless Bridge one more time. But this time I got the boat behind me. Okay, to reiterate, there's the spring system on a Rolls axle. In that cup is a like rubber cushion. I'm trying to hold the camera while I'm underneath here. And up in here or up in here, there's a rubber cushion. And as the axle flexes, it pushes this here, goes up inside here. See, my axle is steel sheathed in an aluminum uh, square tubing. And there is how it all bolts on. Okay? And you can see, all I'd have to do is undo these bolts. There's a bolt there, and there's bolt up in there and I can replace everything this is the one that was the problem I got a brand new tire uh, the bill wasn't too bad I think it was uh, 293 that's the story folks I hope you learned something I hope you learned something I've learned a lot um, Here's how I go over Death Bridge every morning. I got these lights right here, okay? And I stick them on like this. That's how I go over Death Bridge. I literally want people to see me and I got one on each side. That's that. I got one more little project to do. 
And I'm ready to go fishing tomorrow.